But does, you know, at a certain point, will American skepticism start to see through this? Will Donald Trump have an opportunity to cut through by just simply raising the question through social media, through whatever media he can get, and say, this person is not answering questions. They're in hiding. I'm doing press conferences. You need to be really skeptical about this, even if you don't like me as a person. It seems to me there's an American skepticism that uh, Donald Trump can play off here. So that's the other element of this operation, um, uh, James, which, which again is why they are optimistic that they can pull it off. Because in order for that to happen, that would require Donald Trump to do something to, that would require the juxtaposition of two concepts that have never, ever, ever been placed together, Donald Trump and self-discipline. Um, and that would require Donald Trump to prosecute a campaign effectively, challenging Kamala Harris on all the things we talked about, the Biden administration's policies, her extreme radicalism, her, her and Tim Walz's extreme left-wing radicalism, really prosecute that case through debates, when he goes to speak at rallies, when he went through his, through his television appearances and interviews and all that kind of stuff. If he can do that, if he can be disciplined and focus on that, then yes, he can actually really challenge this campaign. But you know, you were, again, you're a keen observer of American politics, keen observer of Donald Trump. Can Donald Trump really be that disciplined? The Donald Trump we've seen in the last week has absolutely played by the Democrats, by the Democratic Party's playbook. These sort of weird stuff about last week, you know, focusing on on whether or not whether or not Kamala Harris is black or not. Uh, more weird stuff at the weekend where he attacked a Republican governor. The governor of Georgia seemed to be more interested in attacking a, a fellow Republican than he was going after Kamala Harris. And then on the the, the, the last couple of days, we had a, a, one of these Truth Social uh, posts where he said that he expects Joe Biden to come back at the convention to try and mm. steal the nomination and then debate him again. <laughs> If he goes off on these Trumpian, Trumpian tangents like this, and we had a little bit more of that in his press conference today, then again, this operation to gently guide Kamala Harris um, scot-free to the finish line and win, then it'll work. If he can finally get a little bit of discipline, if he can finally be prevailed upon to really make the case against her on the grounds that we've talked about, then I think the the the, the weakness that Kamala, the, the many, many weaknesses that Kamala Harris has uh, will be exposed.